Hello everyone and welcome back again to our channel. My name is Anas and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment and if you are wondering again why is that because simply I'm working for you and in this video I will show you how to fulfill orders on Zendrop dropshipping and this is actually a step by step video and what I mean by that I will actually add the product from Zendrop to my Shopify store then I will actually buy the product just like any regular customer then I will head over to Zendrop and fulfill the order to be shipped to the customer which is me in this case so this is not like the other videos like they point you at the section where you're gonna find the orders and deal with it yourself no I will actually show you step by step on how to fulfill orders on Zendrop and as I said I will actually buy the product and I will do the fulfillments on Zendra. So if this video helped you out, help me out, press the that like button. I would really appreciate it. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, I'm accessing Shopify dashboard right now. So the first thing is obviously you make sure you do have the Zendrop app installed on your Shopify store and then connect the Shopify store to Zendrop. That's really easy. And I did make that video as well on my channel. So if you're interested in how to use Zendrop actually for dropshipping on Shopify, make sure to check out my channel. But this video is only for fulfillments of orders. So I'm going to access the app section right here and I'm going to click on Zendrop. Then it will send me to the Zendrop dashboard where you can find products and fulfill orders and handle the packaging or everything else. And by the way, the packaging or the branding for invoices and so on, that's only available for the premium plan. As well as automatic fulfillments for orders, that's also only available on the premium plan for Zendrop, which is cost like $49 per month. So it's not a beginner friendly, especially with newcomers, they can't afford paying a lot of expenses without making any profit. But for people that are actually making profit from dropshipping, that would be really handy for them because it offers a lot of options besides the fulfillments, the automatic fulfillments, as well as the branding invoices. And I will do a video about that as well to show you if it's actually worth it to go for the premium plan or not because you can actually do dropshipping only for the free account. The only downside to it is obviously the support will be really slow for free accounts and the fulfillments you have to do it manually. And let's just get to it and show you how to do it. But first, as I said, uh, I will pick a product from here and I will add it to my Shopify store included actually some bonus tips for you guys if you are interested in that. I will show you some bonus tips when it comes to adding product to your Shopify store from Zendra. Because there is some things that people miss out when it comes to adding products to the Shopify store. They just want to quickly add, finish the video, add the product and click here and click that and you will add the product. But there is some really good key points that people should be, should be mentioning and I will go through them in this video. So let's just scroll down to pick a video or a product, sorry, from here. So let's just go for this hoodie right here. This is just for demonstration by the way. So. In here, you will see the product cost as well as the product cost for each variant from here and the shipping cost as well for United States. You can select another country from here, for example, Australia and the cost will change, I think. It didn't or it did. I don't know. Let's just go for United States again. Uh, it didn't change anyway or it did change just by 10 cents. I think so. It did change only for 10 cents. So let's just add this particular product to our Shopify store. Then we will buy it from Shopify store just like any regular customer then we will do the fulfillments for it. So let's just click on add to import list right here and let's just head over to import list from the left menu from here and after that it will show you the product in here so you can do the last modifications as well as selecting the variants that you want to add to your Shopify store. But first this is where people miss out with some things. The first thing which is the tags. The tags are really important when it comes to search engines uh, tags help search engines index your product page properly and show it to the right customer that's looking for a particular thing which in this case is a hoodie sweatshirt so make sure you do actually add proper text that's optimized for keywords to the product before adding it to your shopify store i'm not gonna do that it's gonna waste some time uh, anyway so the hoodie let's just keep the title for this and the product type let's just type in hoodie and it's man clothing obviously let's just keep it as that and the description in here, you don't have to use this. Make sure you do write your own description. That's really important in dropshipping and in e-commerce in general. So make sure you do make your own description. And the variants, I'm going to keep them all. Uh, I don't care. Uh, and for the images, this is really important. And this is what people miss out the most. So basically, they have a lot of pictures, as you can see, for each variant for this particular product. And that's the same for every product. And the downside to importing all these pictures without doing the tricks that I will show you right now, I will tell you right now, 
is you will make your product page load really slow and that will affect your conversion rate and it's pretty known slow pages can affect the conversion rate and adding all those pictures without compressing them will affect the loading time on your Shopify store so what you need to do is do not select all the things from here or you can select them and head over to your after you import them actually head over to the product page and download picture and compress them then replace the original ones which is the ones that are not compressed replace them with the compressed pictures they will have a lower size and make sure you do not use those online compressors because they will affect the quality of the picture make sure you do use a standalone app on the desktop that doesn't require uh, uploading a picture because uploading a picture to our website then downloading it then uploading it again to your shopify store that will affect the quality obviously so make sure you do that and make sure to keep in mind the pictures selecting them from here will affect the loading time on your shopify store especially if the pictures are a lot like this and uh, there is more than 20 pictures there so that's not really good now, anyway this is just for demonstration and this is a bonus tip the subject of this video is fulfillment of this product so let's just add it to our shopify store by clicking on the import store and click on got it and confirm and let's just give it a couple of seconds and it will say product is being imported you can say the progress in imported products and it's already imported so let's just get back to our shopify store and we will actually buy the product from our Shopify store and we will fulfill it on Zendrop. So let's just get back to Shopify store. Let's just open up the store from here and let's just look for the product. And just like any regular customer, we will access the product and we will buy it. And here it is. This is the hoodie that we did add to our Shopify store. So let's just click on it and click on buy it now. So we're going to buy the product as I said, then we will do the fulfillment on Zendrop. So give me a couple of seconds to do all this information here. Uh, actually, it would be just a second for you. For me, it will be a couple of seconds. Order has been processed right now. And here it is. So the order has been successfully placed and said thank you. I just uh, put the name as test because this is a test order. So we did bought the product right now. Let's just head back to Zendrop. Then we will do the fulfillment for this particular order. So let's just head back to Zendrop and let's just access after that after the, you got the order on your Shopify store let's just actually uh, show you that on the dashboard right here so we got two orders uh, it should be the last one which is this one right here it says today so this is our order right here and it says unfulfilled so we need to fulfill this order on Zendrop and to do that simply head over to Zendrop and access orders from the left menu right here click on orders and in here you should see all the orders on your Shopify store and this is our order that we did place right now which is on the 1st April which is today and this is not a joke actually <laughs> this is a real thing that I'm showing you right now so no worries this is not a joke and it's just a coincidence that it's the 1st April so this is the order the customer payments that received and the Zendra payment in paid and on the right right here you should see fulfilled orders and if you do have orders for other products that they did not import them from uh, Zendrop you can actually link this product to Zendrop just by clicking on link product because in this case this order for a product that it did not add through Zendrop so you can actually link that particular product to Zendrop and do the actually the fulfillments from Zendrop However, make sure you do check the price first because the price might, ba might not be similar to the other platform where you did import the product. So make sure you do check the pricing for the product as well as the shipping. Then you can link the product to Zendrop and do the fulfillment from Zendrop. But in this case, we have only one order. And if you have a lot of orders, you can just click on this uh, right here on order and it will select them and make sure you do select them actually or do the bulk fulfillment so you can fulfill all, all the orders but in my case I only have one order so click on it and after that click on fulfill order and in my case I don't have a payment gateway so it will uh, show you the shipping cost which is $14 and the product cost and the total price is $32 and simply click on a fulfill order and after that you should say or in my case because I don't have a, a payment gateway on Zendrop currently I don't I don't use Zendrop I use the other platform if you want to know which platform just drop me a comment because they said I'm working for you and this is really simple all you need to do is click on add credit card if you don't have a credit card on your Zendrop account and simply add your information in here and click on add card and fulfill the payment just like you 
are doing some purchase on some shopping website because it is a shopping website you just doing shopping for other persons that paid you in different price so you can keep the margin and that's basically drop shipping right so that's how you do the fulfillment on zen drop drop shipping for your shopify store and as you can see i did that step by step including actually buying the products then head over to zen drop and do the fulfillment that's really easy and simple and as i said in the beginning of the video i'm working for you so if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my instagram right here below me i don't reply to each comment and if you are wondering why again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i take my job it is done for this video so thanks for watching get you on the next one